Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here, and today I'm very excited to be sharing with you all my TBR for the Scooby Doo a thon. As you may or may not have seen, I will link the announcement video down below, but I am running um, a Scooby Doo a thon read a thon between the 2nd and the 15th of September. I know I said August in that announcement video, and a lot of people were very confused but it's definitely September. Um, it is a two week readathon and there are seven challenges plus a bonus challenge if you read a book for every one of the challenges, which is what I'm hoping to do, but we will obviously see what I, ten what I turn out to read. And as I said, there are seven challenges um, and so I wanted to show you what I'm reading. Um, I will also link down below my co-hosts, which are Emily from the channel Novel Novels and Clint from the channel Reads Readers. They will both have their um, TBRs going up at the same time as this one, so go over and check theirs out as well. And yes, I'm very excited. I've seen some people's TBRs already, so I'm trying to share them all on Twitter as well. So if you want to see any and you haven't yet, um, go and look at my Twitter page, which I will always link down below. Um, or just go and check Scooby Doo a thon on Twitter or on YouTube. So yes, like I said, very excited and let's get started with what I plan on reading. So the first book, um, the first prompt is Scooby Doo and that is to read a book that starts with an R or um, that has an R as the first letter of one of the words in the title or the author's name. So I have decided to read My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. I believe there is a readathon. Uh, like read along going on uh, in the month of September at some point I don't know when that is but um, I'm gonna read this anyway I've kind of stopped doing buddy reads right now because I just found myself getting a little bit overwhelmed so I've decided to pick this one up anyway my copy is kind of an old copy but I bought it when I went to see Charlie and Emily so yes this is very dear to my heart I love a bit of Daphne tomorrow anyway and this one is only 300 pages so I don't think this will take me too long to read this one is obviously about a woman named um, Rachel but I don't really know anything else about it to be honest with you but as I said I would read anything that was Daphne du Maurier so yeah very much looking forward to reading another one of her novels this will be my third and yeah very excited about that. Second prompt is Shaggy and that is to read a book in your best friend's favourite genre. Now I don't really have any real life friends who read I um, have a couple but not like Oh, I don't know best friend I don't really have a best friend anyway so I've kind of gone with a book that I was gifted um, by somebody in real life so I think that will kind of count for this. And also a lot of my real life friends like non-fiction too. So, and also a lot of booktuber friends I have like um, non-fiction. So this could be exciting either way. And this one is My Life in His Paws, The Story of Ted and How He Saved Me by Wendy Hilling. I was given this by one of my colleagues at work, Ali. She gave me this because she always reads, she reads non-fiction and she always gives me the books when she's finished reading them. This follows um, a dog named Ted who is a golden retriever um, who is an assistance dog um, who is has supporting someone with EB which is epidermolysis bullosa recessive dystrophic which causes um, Wendy Hilling herself to um, it's a skin condition which causes her skin to tear and blister at the slightest knock. So I think it's kind of about what happens and how the dog helps her. And I do love reading about dogs anyway, which I think is cute. So yes, this is going to be the book that I've chosen for this one. Um, and yeah, very much looking forward to it. Also, I feel like if I haven't read all the books for my non-fiction TBR, which you'll have probably seen the TBR go up already, um, I could read this in the first week of Scooby Doo a Thon because it overlaps with the non-fiction readathon by Julie from The Hungry Bookworm. So yeah, either way, I think this one will work really nicely. The next prompt is Velma, and that is to read a book with a genius protagonist. So I have picked The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. This is like a textbook style book um, from the Mortal Instruments world. Now, I think that a lot of the Mortal Instruments um, characters are geniuses specifically Magnus for example um, or a lot of them are really well like trained and highly trained in what they do and so this is like a textbook as well which I think kind of lends itself to the kind of genius thing um, yeah I've, this is the next one I need to read in the universe um, of the Shadowhunters and yes I'm I think this is like I say this is like textbook style so there's lots of different bits and pieces in here but again it's not massive so I think it will be quite a good one to read for the readathon the next one is a is Daphne and that is to read a cover by again I don't really read books based on the cover very often I tend to buy them because I've heard other people talking about them but my mum actually bought me this book and she bought me this because she's seen it on my blog or a YouTube video I can't remember which one I named it I think it was a YouTube video um, and so she saw this and bought it so I'm gonna say it's kind of a cover by and also I love the cover and it's not the cover I had when I was young when I talked about this before so this is Please Mrs Butler by Alan Allberg you might remember I talked about this in a video 
relatively recently about like my favorite poem and um this is literally a really short book but it's like poems and i did remember doing recitals of the poem in this please mrs butler um when i was at school so yeah this is like a book after my own heart and my mum bought this and i love the cover and it just brings back lots of memories so this is the one i have chosen for that Next up is Fred, and that is to read a book with blue and white on the cover. And so for this one, I have picked up Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. This obviously has white, and there is a blue doorknob, and there is kind of blue undertones throughout. I um, also could have read this for, like, my best friend's favourite genre, based on the recommendation from Nicole from A Beautiful Chaos of Books. She talks about this in a recent um, crime thriller recommendations Um she talked about this in a recent thriller recommendations for beginners, I think, so I'll try and link that video down below for you because I really love that video. Um, and this is following Grace and Jack, who are a seemingly normal uh, normal couple. Jack is a lawyer and supposedly a loving husband, and Grace... Well, there's something about Grace that, although in person she seems very kind of elegant and charming, she, there's something not quite right. And she doesn't answer the phone, and there are bars on the bedroom window, and lots of other things. So yeah, very much looking forward to picking this up. This is a bigger one based on the other books that I have in this list. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading the thriller as well. I like to include a thriller in any of my readathons because... It's always good to read a thriller because I do enjoy them so much. So yeah, this is definitely an author I want to get to as well. And it has blue and white on the cover, so it fits. Prompt number six is Scrappy Doo. And this is to read a book that is less than 200 pages. So I have decided to go completely different than anything I've read before. And I'm going to read a Beano Annual. This is the Beano Annual of 2016. And I will link the haul where I hold. I've got like four of them all together. Um, Beano and Dandy ones. Um, I haven't really read Beano for a very long time since I was much much younger but it's literally like I don't know it looks great I'm really excited about it I love a bit of Dennis the Menace as well so yeah and this one is a whopping 112 pages so I figure this will work really well and it'll be a nice light read for part of the readathon and the last prompt is the mystery machine and that is to read the group book so the group book um, that I have picked is Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantaro this is a book that is loosely based on Scooby do and the gang in general and this is also like gender bend i believe like there are and it's set in 1990 but they're looking back at something that happened in 1977 this is apparently is a slightly horror story so sorry about that emily i know that you're a bit nervous about this but i'm really looking forward to reading this and obviously we will talk about it a bit more in the live show that will be at the end of the two weeks again not sure when that will be yet but we will link it um in our, on our twitter page so um, i will definitely let you know and yeah, this is the final book for the readathon. So the last then, very last and kind of bonus one is to is to get a Scooby snack. You have to read one book for each of the prompts uh, without sort of mixing them up. And so basically to read seven books. So if I read all of those books, I obviously will get my Scooby snack. If not, I will not. So that's quite simple. As ever, I'm very excited that so many of you want to take part in the scooby doo -athon. I honestly could not be happier with the response that we've had to it. It was a very off the cuff, like little idea that I had and it just seems to be coming into fruition, which is very exciting. Let me know in the comments down below if you're planning on taking part and if you have TBRs up, do let me know because I would love to go and watch them and share them out as well because I want everybody to watch everyone's videos. Um, and yeah, I love, love, love this um, community in general so thank you so much for all your support because it's been wonderful let me know also if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them because i'm always very interested in hearing your opinion and today's video shout out is going to be for the wonderful Laurie and Thomas. Laurie and Thomas are a husband and wife who make YouTube videos and I love both of them. I think they're great. Laurie always comments on my videos and she's so wonderful and so supportive and I absolutely love her so much. Um, and definitely go and check her out. Laurie is also pregnant right now which is really exciting and yes I could not be happier for the pair of them and I'm so excited that they need to be able to talk to them all the time as well so like I said guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time for another one bye guys